Hello, hypertension resistors. So today I want to talk to you about how to log blood pressure readings. This is step three if you're looking to get better control of your blood pressure or even if you're looking to get off of blood pressure medication now. Just remember now, I mean, usually once you're on blood pressure medication, you'll be on it for the rest of your life. And that's what we know based on research. But however, we do know that some people do manage to get off of blood pressure medication if they do certain things. And so that's why I want to focus on blood pressure readings and how to log those blood pressure readings because this is one of the steps that you can use in order to help your doctor better manage your blood pressure as well as help your doctor wean you off of blood pressure medication if this is appropriate for you. So let's get to it. Now everybody knows that high blood pressure wasn't given the nickname the silent killer for nothing. It was given this nickname because usually if your blood pressure is elevated you don't know that it's elevated and it could get very high before you could ever know that there's a problem. And usually people have strokes and heart attacks without any indication that their blood pressure was ever high. So that's why it's called the silent killer. Uncontrolled blood pressure is responsible for more deaths than any other modifiable risk factor. You got to take action when your blood pressure is uncontrolled to prevent problems. That's just the bottom line. Medical experts at the American Heart Association and and research experts who wrote the current hypertension clinical guidelines recommend that you keep a blood pressure log to help your doctor manage your blood pressure. So why should you monitor your blood pressure at home? After all, your doctor or your nurse practitioner is monitoring your blood pressure in the doctor's office, right? (laughs) Well, that's right. But routinely measuring your blood pressure accurately at home is essential to know if you have high blood pressure or not. Logging your blood pressure readings at home can help your health care provider figure out your chances of getting heart disease based on your blood pressure. Now, research has shown that home blood pressure monitoring is the most accurate reading for most people. That is, if you are doing it right, you know, I mean, if you're using the right technique. Monitoring your blood pressure at home helps your doctor or nurse practitioner better manage your blood pressure. This could save you from all those bad things that I just talked about. Surprisingly, only about half of the people diagnosed with high blood pressure have the blood pressure controlled. So bad blood pressure control is associated with cardiovascular disease, heart disease, of course. No wonder heart disease remains the number one killer in America and elsewhere if only half of the people that are diagnosed with high blood pressure have it controlled. I'm telling you all of this. I'm really telling you all of this because I want to keep you away from any of those bad things. So it's important to monitor your blood pressure at home because What gets measured gets managed and you want to get your blood pressure managed. Uh, When your blood pressure is constantly high, we say it's uncontrolled. We all know that. It is crucial to know if your blood pressure is uncontrolled so you can get control of it. How will you know if your blood pressure is uncontrolled if you don't have a record to share with your doctor? That record is the log that I'm talking about. The log that is a record of your blood pressures. It is how you track your blood pressures in order to let your doctor know what's going on with your blood pressure outside of the office. 
The hypertension guidelines recommend that you check your blood pressure in the mornings and in the evenings and make this log from those numbers. So you would do it in the morning and you'll take your blood pressure, wait a minute, and then repeat. And you would do the same thing in the evening. And having at least seven days worth of blood pressure readings would be useful for your healthcare provider to know exactly how your blood pressure is doing outside of the office. And this would give your healthcare provider more information about how well your blood pressure is controlled. And this is for people who don't have hypertension and who are trying to prevent or delay being put on any medication for their blood pressure. And it's also for people who have hypertension who would like an accurate reading of their blood pressure. So this tracking their blood pressure at home or logging their blood pressure at home is the very important step in order to do all of those things. Basically, manage your blood pressure, but to know the accurate blood pressure for you. This is your usual blood pressure, and that is the number that you want your doctor treating towards or treating. Because that blood pressure that you get in the office may just be a one-time deal, you know? Like you might have white coat syndrome. And we all know white coat syndrome is just when your blood pressure is high or high. It's when your blood pressure is high in a doctor's office. But at home, your blood pressure is normal. Now, you don't want to be diagnosed as hypertensive if your blood pressure is high in a doctor's office and you have no numbers to give your doctor to show that at home, your blood pressure is fine. So... That's why it's so important to log your blood pressures. So monitor your blood pressure at home and log them and bring them to your doctor's office. Never stop any medication unless you talk with your doctor. Follow your doctor's medical advice and never stop any medicines on your own. Now, I I say it really doesn't matter how you keep your log so long you keep one but it is really advisable to find out how your healthcare provider would prefer looking at the log what type of log your healthcare provider would rather to look at <laughs> in other words if you go to your healthcare provider and I've said this in one other podcast but if you go there with all these sheets of paper disorganized and just, um, you know, many different, you know, blood pressure readings for months and months. I mean, that is a lot to look at in a few minutes that your health care provider uh, have in order to <laughs> treat your blood pressure. So it might be best to find an app to log your blood pressure into that app. And that way, it only takes 30 seconds at the most for your healthcare provider to take a look at the log and see if your blood pressure is controlled or not. So I find it that a app is the best way to keep your log. Now, if that is not what your healthcare provider would prefer or you would prefer, then get a pocket calendar where you, that you can get from the dollar store, you know, and you can just log your blood pressures into that pocket calendar. If you're using a notebook, put the date first and then the time followed by the blood pressure and the heart rate. The best way to log your blood pressure readings, honestly, the best way to log your blood pressure is the method that you use. So it depends on what is easy What is easier for you to do and which method your doctor or nurse practitioner prefers? However, if you or your healthcare provider do not have a preference and you have a computer or you're computer savvy, 
just use an app. I, I find an app very simple. This is the best way I found to do it. I use BP Monitor. That's the name of the app. But any app would do. I recommend this free app. And it would be very useful for you if advertisement do not bother you because they do have a lot of ads on that particular app. If you hate ads with a passion, download the paid version or get another app, blood pressure app from the app store. That is if you have an iPhone and from wherever the Android users use their apps. I mean, wherever the Android users get their apps from. I don't know where that is, but wherever it should be available. Try not to keep your blood pressure on a single piece of paper, though, unless you have a folder to clamp it in. That way you can keep your blood pressure reading organized. And that's the best thing to do. If you bring your blood pressure readings to your health care provider unorganized, it's just going to make it a little difficult. Your doctor or your health care provider will likely use the current guidelines to manage your blood pressure. So it's important to have your blood pressure numbers on your log and share those blood pressure numbers with your health care provider to get the best treatment, the best, the most appropriate treatment. If you don't have a log, if you don't have a blood pressure log and you go to your scheduled apartment, you might not get the right treatment. Why is that? Well, if you get to your doctor's office and your blood pressure is elevated because you have white coat syndrome and your doctor is trying to make adjustments based on that number and your blood pressure when you get home is really normal, then how would you know that? How would your doctor know that? You won't know it and your doctor won't know it unless you're measuring your blood pressure at home and logging your numbers and sharing those numbers with your doctor. In other words, if, if your blood pressure is controlled at home and it's high in the office, then there may not be a need to adjust your medicine. If your blood pressure is controlled at home and controlled in the office, again, there's no reason to adjust your medicine. If your blood pressure is uncontrolled at home, but it's controlled in the office, your doctor might then decide to make an adjustment to your blood pressure medication. So you really want to get that blood pressure managed by your home blood pressure measurements. And that's what the associate, that's what the new guidelines are recommending to use home blood pressure measurements in order to manage blood pressures and to use home blood pressure measurements in order to even diagnose hypertension. You, it is no longer advisable to use office blood pressure measurements to diagnose blood pressure unless that's the only thing you have available. I don't know about you, but I would want the most accurate blood pressure measurement to be available in order to determine if I have to take medicine the rest of my life or to determine if I have to purchase a particular medication for my blood pressure. So it's very important to log your blood pressures and share those with your health care provider so that you can get the right treatment. Basically, you can live a healthier, longer life if you take action when your blood pressure is uncontrolled. So make sure you show up at your visit with your blood pressure log and share your blood pressure log with your hair care provider. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. Stay tuned to Hypertension Resistant to Treatment, where I'll tell you more about what everybody ought to know about hypertension and about trending topics. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next one.